Hey everyone, how you doing? So today I pretty much finished um, pulling out the engine and the transmission out of my donor car. So pretty much today I'm going to go ahead and try and take off the transmission. And then, um, yeah, leave it off to the side and then push the donor car out the way and then go ahead and bring my car in and then start pulling that apart. So this is the aftermath of pulling out the engine. The body harness is off to the side. Then pretty much everything else is empty. Have some of the coolant lines down there at the bottom still. The power steering hoses are still there. The fuel line going to the trunk. And yeah, it's pretty yeah, bare. It's the drive shaft back there. And shift linkage for the automatic transmission. So I took the engine and transmission out all in one piece. So that way it'll be easier to disassemble um, such as the transmission from the engine because the transmission is sold already so I just have to take it off and then call a person to have them come pick it up over here we got the other harnesses I didn't disconnect anything really off the engine bay except the intake manifold and whatever sensors was on there and pretty much the plugs to the alternator I took the alternator off also since I'm gonna swap the alternator so those are only plugs that I disconnected so this makes it a whole lot easier when I just drop it in. It just plug up a few things and pretty much I'm just turning screws and this engine will be back up and running in my car. So other than that, I'm gonna go ahead and start pulling the, apart the transmission from the engine. So first I'm gonna pull the transmission cooler lines off the transmission using a 13 millimeter. Once the screw is out, you could go ahead and just pull it out like so. And yeah, should have a rag or something ready so that any fluid that's left in there will leak onto the rag instead of on your floor. I'm gonna start disconnecting these O2 sensor wires from off the bracket on the transmission. So pretty much they're just clipped in. So you just pull on the edge and just pull up right here and they become loose. So you do the same all the way at the ones at the top here, the bottom here, and over here there's like some more wires you just gotta unclip off the transmission so the wires loose now you should be able to have all the wires disconnected from the transmission if like if like mine's right here this right here is stuck behind the heat shield which could easily just do is once it's unclipped just move the heat shield out the way like bend it a little bit and give enough room and just slide this out like so and then that's the final part of the disconnect of the wires. Not really the final. The final will be over here. So this body wire right here, you go ahead and just, let me see, turn it. It's like a tab right here. Just push to the left and it will come right off like so. And then you pull it out. it out and there you go okay so now I'm gonna go ahead and take off the bolts around the bell housing of the transmission so it seems like each bolt is like a different size so this is a E14 uh, 16 and 16 and uh, I'm using a 14 millimeter socket I'm gonna hammer it on a little bit because I can't find the socket that goes over I don't have one big enough to go over these sockets right here so I'm not gonna use a correct tool but it's the only thing I got right now so yeah so I went ahead and disconnected all the transmission bolts going around the whole perimeter of the transmission case so this is how it'll start to look when um it's starting to become loose you should see like a little wedge or crevices opening up between the transmission and the block. So these are the screws. They all have blue markings on the tip of them. So that means you gotta go ahead and replace them with new bolts if you ever do take the bolts out. I guess you reason them like one more time, but I wouldn't recommend it because the bolts seem a little flimsy and I don't think it would hold like a second time around. So might as well just go ahead and replace them. So you also gotta go ahead and take these two bolts off right here. If you have um, aftermarket downpipes, most likely you don't have this bracket on here because you don't need it. 
only if you have the stock down pipes. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this bracket off and this will give me clearance to take off the transmission. Cause I was pulling it off and I'm like, what the heck, why wouldn't it come off? And I realized that this was interfering in the way. So yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and take this bolt off. And there's another one down here that you take off too. And they are, what is this? A 12 millimeter bolt. So just use a 12 millimeter socket and take it off. So pretty much I'm at uh, the current phase that I wanted to be in which was to take the engine out and have the transmission separated. So now all I gotta do is go ahead and um, get my car in here and then start pretty much breaking it down so that I can start pulling that motor and then doing the swap. So the next video, that's pretty much what I'm gonna start to do. So till next time, 